in this video we'll be seeing how to implement spinner in android so you can see that we can choose the items inside a spinner and we are also showing a toast message so we'll be seeing how to implement this in this video so let's get started with the implementation part first of all we can go to the resources layout and activity main xml part go to the split mode and i'll be changing the parent layout to linear layout we can set the orientation to vertical and give a gravity center now we can remove the text view from here and we can add the spinner we can set the width to warp content and height also to warp content now we can close the spinner type all tender and select collapse empty tag we can give an id for the spinner now that's all so this is a very basic layout part so you can see we are having a small spinner here now you can go to the activity main java part and here we have to create an object for the spinner spinner so you can see this in red we have to import the class click here and type all tender and you can simply click on import class okay and spinner equal to find view by id r dot id dot and then we have to pass the id that we just given for the view part okay so if you don't know the id you can go to the activity main and see the id from here okay and give the id now we have to set a listener for the spinner and the name of the listener is set on item selected listener so call the object of the spinner dot set on item selected listener okay so you have to choose the on item selected listener new and you have to choose the on item selected listener you can see that here okay adapter view dot on item selected listener select that and you can see on item selected and on nothing selected now inside the on item selected we can see that we are having a adapter view and a view and we are having an int and also a long so you can change this int i to int position because we are getting the position here so inside this we'll be getting the position of the item that we just selected so you can change this i to position so we can understand that much better okay and come inside this function now create a string string item equal to now we can get the text of the item from the position so for that we can call adapter view dot get item at position then pass the position position and dot to string and that's all okay so now we are getting the item from the position and converting it to a string then we are simply storing it on a string that's all then come here we can show this as a toast message so you can do anything that you want so i am simply going to show this as a toast message so toast and we can give the text something like selected item or something like that and then we can print the item plus item and that's all hope you can see the code properly okay so this is our toast message okay now we can scroll down and we have to create an array list and then we have to create an adapter and we have to set the adapter and array list together and we have to set the adapter to the spinner okay i will show you how to do that so come outside this listener here and we have to create an array list array list of string and you can give a name something like array list itself equal to new array list then we have to add items to the array list so it is an array list of string so we have to add items of string okay so array list dot add then we can add the strings so for example we can take this as an example of fruits so we can add the name of the fruits and we can add more items 
so let's duplicate the lines okay okay let's change it to orange pineapple and also something maybe like grapes now we can create an adapter so come here below the add and we can create array adapter so the array adapter is of type string create the object equal to new array adapter and inside this we have to pass the context comma and then we have to set a layout so we will be passing the default layout so android dot r dot layout dot pass the symbol spinner item okay i will adjust the code properly so you can view the code okay then we have to pass the array list so our name of the variable is array list okay and give a semicolon so you can see the code properly right so we can hit and enter from here okay okay now we have to set the drop down view resource so adapter dot set drop down view resource and then pass android dot r dot layout dot select dialog single choice and then we can set the adapter to the spinner view so for that spinner view object dot set adapter then pass the object of the adapter that is adapter and that's all so the implementation part is completed now we can run the application so you can actually load the data that is this data from the internet and we can populate the data okay so for that you can simply use something like volley or something like that and then we can parse the json if you are sending it as a json you can parse the json and then you can add items or inside a for loop or something so right now we can run the app so now you can see the first item has been selected already when the app launched and you can see when we click on the orange you can see selected item orange and we can select the apple pineapple apple and grapes you can see the toast changing according to what we select here okay hope you understand how to implement this so that's all in this video so hope you understand how to implement spinner view in android if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you want to download the full source code of anything that we do on this channel you can simply come to this link i will give the url on the description you can come to this url and you can simply download the source code from here if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos